burners. In Israel, a growing number of construction sites have uncovered some ancient treasures in unlikely places. Chris Mitchell brings us this look at what archaeologists are finding, including historic evidence of how Christianity in the 5th century rapidly spread across the region. Here in Israel's central plains, a building boom dots the skyline with cranes in places like Rosh Ha'ain. Before any work commences, the Israel Antiquities Authority conducts what it calls a salvage excavation. We started uh, to digging here, okay, and we didn't know what we were going to find. But after three months, we exposed pretty nice uh, and large monastery. The discovery of many impressive rural churches and monasteries in the area shows that Christianity spread rapidly around the 5th century. Excavation director Amit Shadman says the Byzantine church is paved with a colorful mosaic. One of the most important finds is the Greek inscription at the entrance. It's exactly the same like, like today, you know. Yes. People want to know that they gave the money and you have to understand that it's very expensive to build a complex like this. The inscription says this place was built under Theodosius the priest. Peace be upon you when you come, peace be upon you when you go, amen. That's the equivalent of a donor's plaque in a modern building. Up to 30 monks would have lived on the compound and Shadman believes they were also farmers. The compound included living quarters, stables and an olive oil press. He says those would not have been built without the help of the church. The main things of this monastery, you know, is to take care of the rural area. Archaeologists also uncovered an even older structure nearby, a 2,700-year-old farmhouse. This area, from the beginning, was used for, for farming okay, and for agriculture. Sometimes archaeologists must move the antiquities and they often rebury them. But this ancient Byzantine monastery and farmstead are slated to become part of a park. I can tell you that this site, we're not going to destroy it, you know. And we will plan to keep it and uh, leave it like a, a green area. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem. Wendy, some fascinating finds bringing ancient history back to life. Absolutely, we love it. Well, thanks so much, John. Coming